although there's no right way or wrong way when it comes to creating content, especially video content, there is a better way than a not so good way when it comes to framing your video shot. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to frame your shot for maximum impact, especially if you're creating content on Facebook, on YouTube, Instagram, etc. Let's get right into it. Let's take, for example, folks on the mass media, for instance, CNN, Fox News. How do they frame their shots with their guests and also with their hosts? I'd like to take examples from those big players and adopt it in what I do, because obviously they've spent a lot of time studying best practices. So why reinvent the wheel? What I frequently see, and I'm going to apologize in advance to uh, Dr. Pramuji for using her as an example. I just saw this video this afternoon and I couldn't help but notice this. So she apparently was a guest on a podcast or video interview, maybe turned into a podcast. But this is what I typically see. You see all that extra space on top of the host's head. And look at how small the host is relative to the shot. All that space up there is wasted space. Dr. Pramuji is doing a much better job by minimizing the space above her. Now let's take a look at what the big players do, what the mass media does. This is how CNN frames their video shots. Look at how little space, it's called headspace, how little headspace there is above the guest because all that extra space up here is wasted space. Think in terms of how your audience is consuming your content. Most of us are watching it on a small mobile device. The image is already pretty small. And if you partially frame the guest or yourself, you are going to be even smaller within that frame. Now, you only have a few seconds to convey authenticity, authority, likability through a digital medium. When you are minimizing your importance by framing yourself smaller than you need to be, you lose the ability to connect with the audience. And that means you lose the credibility, the authority, and the likability. Studies have been done. Another reason why you want to minimize the headspace and potentially frame your shot where it most of your upper body is seen is because most of communication, most of how we communicate is through body language and not so much with the words that we use. How do you convey body language? By framing the shot so that your body language can be shown, not just your face, not just your facial gestures, but also your upper body and very importantly, how you use your hands. This conveys body language and messaging and communications a lot more than the words that we use, believe it or not. This is another reason to minimize the headspace. It gives you more room down here to convey your message. So consider, this is another example. This is what Fox does, right? Let's be fair, CNN, Fox. Look at how little space is above the talent's head. They're filling the frame with the entire upper body of the guest. So that I simply emulate what they do by minimizing this space up here because that is literally wasted space. You can use the space more efficiently by framing the shot so it, you, it allows you to communicate and connect with your audience much fa faster, much better, so that you can influence them in the way that you want them to be influenced. If you have any questions, I welcome them. Agreements, disagreements, I love to hear from you, the watching audience. Don't lose your credibility, authority, and likability. Frame your shots correctly. And if you are interested in learning how to sound good in a video, I have a link over here if you're watching this on YouTube, or I will link it in the video description or in the comment area. 
Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the privilege of your time. Take care of yourself and take care of each other. Bye-bye.